Hey everybody, it's Pastor Rich here. Well, for the last few weeks, we've been talking about the ministry of Jesus, and we've been reading from different places in the New Testament. And we've talked about how Jesus healed people, and he showed that he had authority to forgive sins, and he had authority over all of nature. And then we begin to talk about how Jesus taught people and Jesus teaching was about the kingdom of God he called people to turn away from their sins and to trust in him and we have this teaching because the Holy Spirit was at work in Jesus followers and they remembered what it is that Jesus taught the book of John in chapter 14 in verse 25 and 26 it says this, These things I have spoken to you while I am still with you. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. And this is why uh, we now have uh, God's Word and we can be sure of what it is that Jesus taught. Well, Today, we're going to talk about how following Jesus doesn't mean that our life will be easy. You know, all of us don't like to be treated unfairly or unkindly. And sadly, uh, this does happen sometimes. And we must expect that it will happen if we follow Jesus. As a matter of fact, Jesus himself uh, said uh, to his followers that they would be persecuted. That is, that they would be treated badly if they followed him. We think about Jesus himself. Uh, even though he lived a perfect life, and even though he came uh, to this earth in order to live that life, and in, in order to... Uh, be sacrificed uh, as a taking the punishment uh, for sin and he did this all out of love even though he did those things uh, people treated him badly and so if they treated Jesus badly all of those who follow Jesus should expect that at least in some way they will be treated unfairly or unkindly uh, by those who are the enemies of God. And so today we're going to read about Jesus sending out uh, the 12, uh, his 12 apostles, and how it is that he tells them uh, that they should expect to be treated badly. And Jesus called to him his 12 disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal every disease and every affliction. The names of the twelve apostles are these, first Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew his brother, James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew the tax collector, James the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, Simon the Canaanian, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. These twelve Jesus sent out, instructing them, Go nowhere among the Gentiles, and enter no town of the Samaritans, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and proclaim as you go, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, cast out demons. You receive without paying, give without pay. Acquire no gold, nor silver, nor copper for your belts, no bag for your journey, nor two tunics, nor sandals, nor a staff. Nor, for the laborer deserves his food. And whatever town or village you enter, find out who is worthy in it, and stay there until you depart. As you enter the house, greet it. And if the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it is not worthy, let your peace return to you. And if anyone will not receive you or listen to your words, shake off the dust from your feet when you leave that house or town. Truly I say to you, it will be more bearable on the day of judgment for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah than for that town. Behold, I am sending you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. 
So be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. Beware of men, for they will deliver you over to courts and flog you in their synagogues, and you will be dragged before governors and kings for my sake, to bear witness before them and the Gentiles. When they deliver you over, do not be anxious how you are to speak or what you are to say, for what you are to say will be given you in that hour. For it is not you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Brother will deliver brother over to death, and the father his child, and children will rise up against parents and have them put to death, and you will be hated by all for my name's sake. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to the next. For truly I say to you, you will not have gone through all the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes." Jesus tells the apostles that they will be like sheep among wolves. And wolves, they attack sheep. And sheep are not safe around wolves. And so he's promising the apostles that there are going to be those, because they are followers of Jesus, there are going to be those who hate them and treat them badly. Uh, because they don't like Jesus, and they don't like anybody who follows him. Jesus tells the apostles that they will even be beaten. Uh, but Jesus also tells them that they're not to worry about what it is that they are going to say uh, when they're brought uh, before uh, kings or, or governors, uh, when people uh, bring the apostles uh, to the government and they accuse the apostles of, uh, of being uh, bad people, the apostles are, are not supposed to worry about it because the Holy Spirit, God the Holy Spirit, will work in them and give them the words uh, to say. And so Jesus is telling the apostles that they should expect to be treated badly. And if that is true of Jesus, that he was treated badly, and if it's true of the apostles, uh, it is also true, we, we know that it's going to be true of all those uh, who are followers of Jesus. And Jesus said that himself. He said that his followers would uh, be persecuted. And so... I want you to remember that the Christian life that is following Jesus is not an easy life, but it is the best life. And turning from our sins and trusting in Jesus, that leads to eternal life. And while we might be persecuted here, because we follow Jesus, we look forward to an eternity that will be spent with God. And it will be on a new earth with a new heavens. And in that place, there will be no more sin. Uh, there will only be the children of God. And there will be no more persecution. There will be no more bad treatment of those who follow Christ. But for now, we should expect to be treated badly if we're followers of Jesus. But we shouldn't worry about it at all because God, if we're following Christ, God wants the best for us. And even when we're treated badly, he's working for his glory and he's working for our good. Well, next time we'll talk more about what Jesus uh, was teaching, both his apostles and all those who followed him and the crowds who were around him. And so I hope to see you guys maybe uh, around church uh, soon, uh, but for sure uh, I'll plan on seeing you next week as we share again about Jesus' ministry.